Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary of playing New Aurelian Soul. I've been trying to play him pretty much all day today. Actually, I've been able to find basically zero success except for normal games where I'm against like uh, people who don't know how to like really abuse laning phase. So far, definitely, um, you're not strong early game, um, which is completely different. Uh, I learned that the first game, like basically you can't win trades early on because you have an 8 second cooldown on your ability it, and it goes down to 2 seconds so that means that your ability basically is going to suck until it scales downward so they got rid of his uh, early game strength really I mean you can still auto people and if they go on on you maybe you can hit them on the way out but you're not going to deal consistent damage in the past like being able to solo code people like level 1, level 2 so that's one of the main things. I look at like there's a Taric jungle. So this is what I thought it was gonna be. It's gonna be Taric support, Silas jungle with this guy mid. So I took two armor runes, but now I now it's now I have two armor runes versus a Silas. So um, taking phase rush just because I felt like they have a lot of people who like want to jump on me and I don't want to deal with it. Basically, uh, I know a lot of people have been finding success on like a. Uh, with electrocute and stuff, but I feel that uh, phase rush this game just seemed the best to me. I don't know if this guy started Q or if he started E. Okay, he started Q. So that means he can't dash on top of me, that's one thing. Oh wow, I wasn't able to hit that. Should be able to kill him here. He's dead. Okay, so like he's fighting inside my creeps. And like, I can auto him on the way out. That's the reason why I won that. <laughs> I said that you can't solo kill people like level 2 and stuff, but when you're gonna play within like 3 caster creeps on you, then you're not going to have a good time. Please, dude, I just want the cannon. Uh, once again, that guy's just tanking on my creep, so I stun him inside of it. Uh, I can't really shove this out. I'm just going to reset by boots plus... Um, Dark Seal here. Versus melee targets, I think you're fine. I I played against like Tristana mid. She just jumped on me level two, uh, and uh, almost killed me just straight away. Um, I noticed it's kind of, in my opinion, it's harder to actually land your W. You have to get used to. Okay, so if you played Aurelian Soul in the past and actually played them quite a bit, you have to get used to don't use your W when they jump on you. You have to wait until they get out of your ability before you actually use it. It's like one of the biggest things, because beforehand you would just use your W and people would start running out of it and your W is still being channeled, but if you use it too early, now you're just wasting it. So it feels really weird, you have to get used to that. Oh? Damn, good thing I didn't get stunned. And you don't have as many mana problems, that's another thing. You don't have as many mana problems, but your early game is weaker because you don't have consistent damage on your W anymore. They did make the W deal a little bit less damage too. The, uh... Just all the orbs in general, so... That's gonna add up a little bit too. But I think you scale better now. Especially because your Q actually scales downwards. Beforehand, there's some abilities that never scaled downwards, right? So like, Aurelian Soul Q was just 11 seconds flat no matter what, even if it was level 5. Now it goes down to 7 seconds. 
So that means that your W actually. Oh, let me hit you, please. Thank you. I'm just trying to get mana flow procs, to be honest. This guy can't go on me because he has no mana. Fuck, dude, my ignite didn't go off. I pressed it on him, but he was just too far away. It's okay. We'll probably miss these creeps. I don't think he can stay. And Tarek's not gonna be able to gank me. Thankfully, I'm playing against a jungler that can't. Oh. Okay. He came back in, so I just will kill him. I'm surprised he stayed. I don't know why he did. Um, I'm gonna be going. So I phase rush this game. Hmm. I'll just go the Rod of Ages build into just like maybe Ludin's Echo or something because CDR is actually not bad on him anymore because as I said it scales downwards so seven seconds if I have 40% CDR your cooldown on your your stun is actually going to be like 3.8 or something 3.85 or something so that's a pretty short cooldown for a stun it's, it's pretty nice um also it's going to reduce the cooldown on your actual W so you can spam it more so CDR is not a bad uh, thing to take on him, including CDR runes. And for, I think that you should actually take that. I didn't take that. I think CDR runes actually will be super good on him. The scaling one that goes up to 10%, very good to take. So I would take that in most of my Aurelian Soul games, in my opinion. Oh yeah, and also your orbs no longer go down when you start damaging people. I can't keep up with him. Oof. He's too fast. Wait, I have boots over him and I can't keep up with him. What the hell? <laughs> that is one tiny thing, to be honest. Because uh, they got rid of the, like, movement speed from your uh, E, now it's hard to passively get towards people. You can use your Q and stuff, but... This guy does have Ignite, by the way, so he actually can kill me if I continue taking really poor trades, so... I have to be careful, <laughs> actually. And he, my level 6 on him is actually not that bad either. Okay, Tarek's coming mid here. I'm just making him... Okay, so he thought I was going to face check him, so I'm wasting his time. He wasted so much time being mid there. Wasting someone's time is actually really effective, by the way. <laughs> he could have, like, backed and came to do, like, a different lane or something, and now he didn't get to do anything. Oh? Hmm, chunked him a little bit, but he still has my ulti. That's the scary part. Is Jax low? Fuck. Okay, gonna flash away from that. That probably would have killed me. I just don't have enough. Oh, he's not staying under tower here, so I might be able to take all these. Okay, cool. If he stayed under tower, would have not won for that CS. I'll be able to run back pretty fast too because they made it so his E is a longer range and it get, it gives a more movement speed now too. So it's extremely long and you're moving at 600. That's really fast by the way. So you actually get back to lane extremely fast using it but it does still have a long cooldown so you can't use it all the time. Most champions would have missed all the creeps there by the way and I actually got two so... Um, I'm gonna run bot side. I don't know if we can fight this. I want to try to fight this. Okay, never mind. I need to immediately leave before I get caught out. It, it was a little scary going down. We don't have vision control down there, and I don't have my jungler down there. So if they go on me, 
like caught me out i would actually just die i don't have flash to get over a wall so that was actually kind of scary going down i was just seeing if a fight breaks out bot lane then i'll be able to join in but unfortunately a fight didn't break out so just wasted some time does he know that Jax is here or something okay so i have level five uh W now, so it's on a much shorter cooldown, finally. This guy's gonna die, but we'll probably be able to kill him afterwards. This guy's too um to fight, so he's gonna die too. Oh, never mind, he can't die. Fuck, the stun. Whatever, we got his flash out. I probably should have waited for Mordekaiser's ability to not hit him, because he would have to flash away from it, and then I used my ability afterwards. Bot lane just lost pretty hard. This is like gonna be a good game to show off hopefully how strong this champion can get when he's extremely fed um because i mean i'm really strong right now i'm up a lot of cs i'm up levels i'm up items so i need to reset and buy my items so bad though i'll probably get a Sork boots along it with it. Oh, don't hit me with that. Ouch. Okay, cool. He kept on going on me, and I knew his damage wouldn't be very strong because he just uses W. His Q is like the main source, his auto attacks aren't going to kill me. He used Ignite top, that's another thing. I knew he didn't have Ignite, so... With all that knowledge, I'll be able to... was able to kill him pretty easily. I'm actually going to go for like Ludens next or something. I feel like going a... Uh, CDR on him is actually more valuable. Going AP and CDR is more valuable than his past... Oh, I'm going to kite you with my Rylize. I don't think that, that matters anymore. It's not that type of champion anymore. See, I just used my W. Like, that's habit. Using my W before. Okay, dude, I'm just taking the smalls. I wasn't able to take all of them. You can take them. <laughs> oh, that actually scared me, that noise. Okay, that did 300 damage. This is gonna give me moving speed. Hmm. It's kinda hard to stay on people though. Okay, cool, I killed him. This guy's just running into the jack, so I mean, I have pretty good damage if they're standing still, but it's actually kind of hard to keep people within your orbs, that's the issue. It was a lot easier to keep people within your orbs on the other Rillian Soul. Because there's like a pattern to it. And most people, I think they also actively try to run away more in, in uh, with this new Rillian Soul because they move so fast now, so people don't want to be inside of it. That tail. With the older Alien Soul, they move really slow. Sometimes people would even try to like dip inside of it and stuff. Oh 
My Balin's actually losing. Wow, Toblin's so far ahead though, and so is this guy. I mean, this this guy is super, super dying. So. I'm just gonna try to shove him mid and probably roam bot or top here. Uh, killing Silas on my own is difficult unless he actually fights me. I mean, he actually does try to fight me though. He shouldn't. I can just shove him in and then he can just CS under tower. I have a Morgana coming? Okay, dude. I'll give myself movement speed here. Okay, it didn't give me any movement speed because he hit me. Hmm? I'm coming. I'm gonna be really fast to this fight. We should be able to win it. Nice. As soon as she flashed away, it's pretty easy to just land the ulti on her and it deals enough damage. I'm just gonna face check this guy. He's so weak. Oh. Uh, can we just dive him? I'm not sure. Okay, Pike's here. Never mind. Oh my god, you died to him. Holy shit. Okay. Gonna run away. <laughs> you took my cannon. Okay, my Jax is so fucking strong, dude. There's actually nothing they can do. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to help him here. They're all collapsing on him. I don't want my Jax to give away a big, big amount of gold here. Uh, he should be dying, right? Zai will kill him. I don't want to flash over the wall. Waste it. Oh, wow, I did need to flash over the wall. Darn, dude. No. I want to test out my damage some more in this game. If I was like LeBlanc right now, I'd just be one-shotting absolutely everyone. I'm not going to go over that wall. Screw that. I'm just going to stay on this side. Holy crap, this Mordekaiser is so strong. Let's see if we can just take this. If they try to fight us, we'll probably win. We have two, like, extremely strong people, so if they try to fight us... Plus, the Kai'Sa is kind of trolling. Like, she... I mean, the game's basically over, so she's given up, so that's why she's just split-pushing. Just kill her. I don't want to flash for her or anything. Oh. Okay, we killed them all, nice. So the main thing, as a recap, you want to... You're not going to be that strong early, I know, I killed the guy. I said he's not going to be strong early and I killed the guy, but remember that you have an 8 second cooldown versus a 2 second cooldown now, right? Um, so his W really scales hard now. Uh, also, you, I think you should get in the habit of, look, one, two, three, and then turn it off, and then do it again. I think that actually is the most optimal amount of damage that you can do. Because if you hold it on the entire time, it actually doesn't really deal that much. Because it, it slows down. It hella slows down. Okay. But hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I spent I lost a lot of LP to get you this game. <laughs> I actually lost so much LP. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, let me just end the game real fast. What the hell? I would have went Ludens and then I would have probably went um, 
by the way, after Ludens, I would go Lyandris. Lyandris is good. <laughs> 